dance my dance. My flavor dance. So good. Hey foodie friends, it's Dina here with Eat Life Review and I have another one for you. Today I'm making jerk chicken tacos and it's vegan. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you guys how to make the jerk marinade. So it's a weekday meal. So, you know, I try to make it easy for you guys because believe me, I'm the same. So weekday meal, simple, easy, quick, but tasty, always tasty. So we are going to use the Gardein vegan chicken strips to make this jerk chicken taco. So let's get into it. But before we dive into this, for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to show me love. And now, let's get busy. <laughs> okay guys, you're gonna need a food processor or if you don't have one, one of these guys, like your little mixerino machine thingamajig for the marinade. We are going to add half of an onion, medium sized onion, and you chop it up just like this. And we're gonna add that in there. Next, we're gonna add four medium scallions, just like that, I chopped it up. Just roughly chop, nothing fancy, guys. Remember, this is quick and easy. Two to three tablespoons of fresh thyme. Get your twig here and you just pull the leaves out, just like that. One and a half tablespoons of fresh ginger. There you go, I just roughly chopped it. And there it goes. Eight cloves of garlic. One tablespoon of cinnamon powder. One tablespoon of ground allspice. One tablespoon of pepper. Half a tablespoon of ground nutmeg. So just a half of this guy, not too much. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. One, two. And then it calls for two tablespoons of honey, but we are veganizing this, so we're, I'm gonna use agave instead two tablespoons of soy sauce. It calls for a tablespoon of bouillon, but we're gonna use the vegan kind right here, which is better than bouillon. One tablespoon of that. So this is the whole thing. Super easy, you can find this guy anywhere. They even have them at Walmart now, which is great, because Walmart's coming out with all these new, all these new um, vegan products, which is great. And then it calls for a cup of fresh mango, which I chopped up right here. And lastly, we have to add the heat. So it calls for scotch bonnet pepper. I'm not gonna add that because that's super spicy and hard to find. So I'm just gonna use some red pepper flakes and some cayenne to replace that scotch bonnet pepper. All right guys, so let's get this blending and I'll be right back to show you what it looks like after getting this all mixed up. So I'll BRB. Okay guys, so this is what the consistency of your marinade, what it should look like. Can you see that there? So let's taste it. Mm. Um, if it's a little too spicy for you, I think the heat for me is just right with the sweetness and the heat. You guys can adjust the cayenne pepper. Just don't add so much, just add a little bit. And then you guys can always add it in afterwards. After you blend it, taste it, and if you wanna add a little bit more spice, go ahead and just add it. And if you feel like you overwhelmed it and you put way too much spice, just add sweet, which is the agave nectar, the agave syrup, just add it in there and blend it again. And this way, you can save the day with the, uh, <laughs> the marinade. So okay, so let's get this bad boy on our chicken. Okay guys, so once you have your chicken, garden chicken strips nice and toasted like this, we're going to add the marinade. Lower your heat, just so you don't get splattered in the face. <laughs> Here you go, and just add your delicious jerk chicken marinade all over here. I'm gonna start slowly, so I wanna see how this cooks up. Lower the heat. Let's get that all mixed up. So lower the heat, do the old mixerino here. This is just smelling wonderful. The mango and the ginger smell with the garlic just smells so delicious. I, I can't wait to sink my teeth in this. 
taco. All right, so once that starts bubbling just like that, guys, turn off your heat. Let it sit for a little bit here while we go arrange our taco shell. Okay guys, so uh, the little slaw that I'm adding on top of the taco is this broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, and red cabbage. You can see that there. I bought this pre-cut and pre-cleaned. <laughs> so it's all ready to go. Because again, time, time is of the essence here. So, I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like here. So that's gonna go on top of your taco. So this little dressing I made here, vinaigrette to put on top of the slaw, is simple, easy. It's a teaspoon of minced garlic, two caps of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of dry mint, squeeze half of a lemon, and a teaspoon of the agave syrup. So see, that's what it looks like there. Feel free to dabble with this. This is just my own little dressing I just winged for this jerk chicken. You can add honey mustard if you want in here, if you want a thicker, creamier dressing. Whichever, whichever you guys prefer what you like. I'll have the recipes on the description below for you guys. So that's that. And let's start plating. Okay guys, so simple, easy peasy. Layer your meat, the coleslaw, and avocado on the top. And now just add that vinaigrette that I showed you guys earlier. Just gonna drizzle it right on the top here, just like so. Wow, look at that. Yummy, yummy, yum. There you have it guys, vegan jerk chicken tacos. Okay guys, look how delish this looks. So we plate it, we put the chicken strips on the bottom, the coleslaw with the little dressing, the vinaigrette dressing I made on the top, went, and I threw in some avocados. So let's get to eating. Okay guys, I have some lemon here too. I'm going to squeeze the lemon on here. Okay, okay foodie friends, here we go. The taste test. Look, let's go. Mmm. Mmm. We got the citrus, the spice from the cayenne. Oh my gosh. And then the avocado on the top just cools everything out. I'm so glad I added this coleslaw with the vinaigrette on top. It just wakes all the flavors up. It's so delicious. Mm. Oh. I'm losing. Man down here. Man down. Mmm, delicious. Homemade jerk marinade, vegan. Homemade vinaigrette for that coleslaw. Guys, this was so simple, easy, delicious. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big like. And also, if you guys make these tacos, take a picture of it and tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. Even if you add different flavors in, I just would love to see it. This is amazing, delicious. Spice factor is just right. Again, you guys can adjust that, remember that. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.